lower bound and upper bound lower bound and upper bound for options that means lower bound as in minimum value so minimum value and maximum value for options so that's what we are going to see here so i'll just present one table first that which is the outcome so i'll show you the outcome first then i will show you the proof okay so first one is let's say for european call european call option minimum value minimum value uh, will be so call pre call price or call options price at time t is greater than or equal to maximum of zero or spot price minus spot price at time t minus uh, present value of the strike so present value this x indicates strike okay present value of the strike i i can write in two ways one is uh, strike into 1 plus risk free rate raised to minus capital T minus smaller t. What this means, I will explain it to you in some time. Uh, or I can also write this as you know, greater than or equal to maximum of 0 or uh, this spot minus. So I can write strike and then I can discount it 1 plus risk free raised to capital T minus smaller t so in this case minus sign you know will not come because I am using discount okay so I can write like this as well whichever is your preference and the maximum value will be uh, spot at time t okay this is the first outcome which I need to uh, show with an example to you in this video okay and the second one is American American call option so American call option is ditto minimum and maximum value is ditto uh, as per you know European why so that also I need to explain then European put European put options so put option is European put option is greater than or equal to maximum of 0 or uh, present value of the uh, strike that is uh, yeah, present value of the strike minus spot price or I can write this as I can write this as uh, like this also I can discount it okay and here the maximum value will be present value of the strike so, so I'll write like this raised to capital T minus smaller t. This is the outcome. And then for uh, American put. So for American put. Okay. For American put option. Uh, this will be greater than maximum of American put option is greater than or equal to maximum of 0 or strike minus spot directly no discounting over here and the maximum value will be strike here okay now why it is like this all that I need to explain it to you with an example okay so otherwise this is it this is the outcome that that I need to show it to you with an example so let me First of all, take this example, um, European call, okay? So, and I will prove this uh, this part. Okay, first one. 
so oh. let's say so I'll, I'll go with the example now European call so let's say you have entered into a call option uh, for three months and the strike price is 1000 so this is the strike price now after let's say after one month okay so right now you entered into a call option from time zero for three months it is thousand okay at the rate at, at thousand strike price you have entered now after one month now when i say after one month this is called uh, smaller t okay and this is the bigger t or capital t is the total expiry okay smaller t is right now so right now the spot price so i write s and then smaller t so spot price let's say the spot price went up and uh, let's say the market was bullish and it has reached to maybe like you know 1050 okay so it has reached to 1050 so in this in this case uh, you are thinking now you know because you cannot exercise it immediately because it is european call right so european call means it can be exercised only on the expiry date so what should be the value of this option then okay if you immediately exercise which you cannot if you immediately it will be 50 but you cannot okay 1050 minus 1000 will come to 50 but you cannot so then how you know when you when you want to square off then how does this uh, work so you have to take the present value of this 1000 so present value of 1000 will be 1000 divided by 1 plus uh, risk free rate in this example let me take risk free rate as let's say 5 percentage okay so 5 percentage raised to raised to you know you are discounting for 2 months so raised to uh, 2 months so 2 by 12 it will be 2 by 12 so let me just calculate this one uh, by the way this is nothing but I am writing in this format 1 plus risk free raised to uh, 2 by 12 is nothing but capital T minus smaller t that means this capital T minus smaller t is huh. so capital T is 3 months minus smaller t is 1 month that is equal to 2 months so 2 months and which I have converted into years by dividing by 12 okay so this is what it is t capital T minus smaller t okay so now uh, so let me see you know how much it comes to it comes to 990 991.9 uh, so I'm just rounding it up to 992 okay for easier calculation so 992 so right now the spot price of this strike is 992 so spot minus you know the present value of the strike will give me 1050 minus 992 it will give me 58 58 rupees profit okay so that's that's how that's what i have done over here so spot minus spot in our case is 1050 and present value you take this way or you take this way present value is coming to 992 and uh, you know 1050 minus 992 is coming to uh, 58 so 58 will be the value of the call option okay and max to max it will reach to if you think about this right hand side max to max it will reach to present value so present value uh, i mean spot price that is 1050 okay so max to max it can be 1050 and minimum it will be 58 so that's what uh, you know this uh, rule indicates us okay so i hope this is fine okay with an example now american call why american call also you know it is it its value is same as uh, european call reason being suppose imagine i'm thinking about american so if it is american call I can execute it immediately okay so if I execute it immediately then my profit will be 50 okay I can execute it immediately or I can wait till the expiry date that is up to me right so if I execute it immediately I will get 50 but if I wait till the expiry date 
the value comes as 58 so what will be my decision my decision will be to wait so that the value goes up here it is 58 so even though i have the right to exercise it immediately i will still wait that's the reason american call you know um, also behaves like european okay reason being that is more advantageous to the american call holder okay so that's why that's why you know because this is more advantageous to wait and calculate in this way if he exercises he will get only 50 so that's why it will behave like european call so i hope this is also fine then third one uh, european put so this one i need to explain it to you now european put so european put now again let's say i am entering into a three month uh, european put contract where the strike price is thousand strike price is thousand and uh, let's say after one month there's the spot price so capital s and then smaller t so spot prices let's say it has come to 950 in this case so 950 so now european put so i cannot execute it anyways immediately but then i can find out the present value when i square off the present value of this strike will be uh, 1000 divided by 1 plus 5 percentage raised to uh, so this is for two months i need to discount 2 by 12 okay 2 by 12 so I'm, I'm converting it into year that's why divided by 12 so that comes to uh, so yeah so that comes to 992 and now you see here uh, so the value of this contract will be or the value of this uh, you know put options will be 950 minus uh, 992 so that comes to or in fact strike minus spot that's how i'm supposed to do for put options this is the you know uh, this is the present value of the strike and minus put options so present value of the strike is 992 so my benefit here it will be uh, it is like this 992 minus uh, 950 okay so if i go by this formula yeah present value of the strike minus spot so it comes to uh, it comes to 42 right 992 minus 950 comes to 42 okay so this is this is this is how i'm supposed to find out okay yeah so it is present value of the strike and then minus uh, spot price okay and then uh, maximum value will be present value of the uh, strike because maximum maximum this uh, you know value will be 990 uh, two maximum it can go to this much 992 whereas minimum it has to be 42 okay because i have the right to sell it for you know thousand and the present value of that is 992 so that's the maximum value i can sell it for but minimum at the moment i can sell it for 42 as well because spot has already reached 950 so i can i can still sell it for 42 minimum okay if it is out of the money then it will be zero okay if it is out of the money then it will be zero that's why zero is mentioned here now coming to uh, the last one american okay american put option okay american put is so again same example three months contract and after one month it is let's say 950 and now when i take the present value so this is st and this is t when i take the present value we know 
the present value comes to uh, it comes to 992 so and here it is 950 so now uh, if I execute it immediately okay 1000 minus 950 I will get 50 as my profit whereas if I keep waiting till the expiry it will be 42 992 minus 950 it will give me 42 so between these two options I will go for this one so I don't have to wait over here this doesn't make much sense to me because I'm getting higher value when I directly execute it and so I will directly execute over here so there is no you know present value all such things you don't have to find out if I directly execute I'll get better benefit and max to max the value can go to till the strike price that means I can you know sell it maximum for thousand rupees okay so that's why the you know the rule here goes like this so I hope uh, this is uh, clear now with this example uh, thank you so much uh, for watching the video and uh, if uh, you know if you find it little difficult I would encourage you to you know watch it like you know one more time because uh, such kind of videos requires uh, multiple uh, attention because only then it will it, you will be able to understand it uh, uh, better okay so thank you so much